Hey, here's me. For this week's video, I'm fixing an old art piece. Since it's almost October, I'm going for a Halloween themed piece of Hiro Amagi from Ensemble Stars. I drew this two years ago. I also chose this illustration because I can see many things I would want to improve on here. A reason for this is probably that I did kind of a challenge for drawing it, only taking two hours and using few layers. While I would usually take maybe six hours to draw this, I was inspired to use a faster process like this from seeing videos from this YouTuber's channel. They also draw a lot of Ensemble Stars fan art. I want to first critique my old art piece, then I'm gonna do a redraw in only two hours, since that way I can see how much better I can get my art to look using the same amount of time. But then I also want to do a redraw using my general approach with a longer time frame to make this piece the best it can be. So in a way this is also a drawing using two time frames challenge. However, since fixing art is more about using liquify and painting over to change the original piece, I'll also include the process of fixing my art in the end. Like this I can also compare the results from using some different painting processes. This video should also serve as a guide to how you can critique art pieces yourself. I hope it will be helpful to you. Let's start with the critique. For this, I at first only look at the art and write down things that stand out to me, what immediately looks off to me. Then I mirror my art once and write down what looks off again. Often I notice things that don't work with the face here. After this, I have checklists I go through. These are checklists I update from time to time with common mistakes I notice in my art or the biggest differences I see between my art and the art I like. I use these checklists while drawing as well as when critiquing it after I'm done with an illustration. The checklists help me to pay attention to specific parts when looking at my art since it can be pretty overwhelming to look at an art piece and figure out all the things that could look better. You could technically go through each aspect like the hair strands, the hair shading, the hair volume, face outline, face shading, nose placement and so on. But as you can maybe already tell, this would take very very long. So it makes sense to target the specific things you notice are common mistakes you make and check these in your art. Okay, now onto the things I wrote down when critiquing this artwork. I like to differentiate between things that look fundamentally wrong, like one arm being longer than the other or only drawing four fingers on one hand, and things that I don't like stylistically, like using more saturated colors or thicker lines to draw. For fixing art, it's good to focus on the things that are fundamentally wrong, so I start with this. First, let's talk about the body and the proportions. Firstly, the upper body could be more arched and rounded. The tie of the outfit as well as the belt are too far to the right and not at the center of the body. Then I drew in some parallel folds on the right sleeve and folds usually aren't parallel. The folds also could look more believable. The shirt's collar looks too straight, it doesn't look like it's following the shape of the neck. Next is what stood out to me first, the legs. They are way too long and thin, you could take this partly as stylization choice but still, to me this looks too extreme and unrealistic now. Just imagine the legs being stretched out, they would be a lot longer than the upper body and head. The pattern on the pants also looks pretty flat. The perspective of it doesn't follow the perspective the legs should be in. The legs seem very flat and not like cylinders because of this. And the leg for the leg in front as well as the end of the pants and shoes there don't line up. Then for the shoes, their shape doesn't resemble a foot shape. It's way too blocky. Shoes and feet usually are a lot more flat at the front than in the back at the heel. The foot in the back could also be tilted upwards. And now for the hands, you can really see how I was rushing with drawing them to me. The shape of the fingers is unclear, at least you can see I kinda try to include three finger joints. Now we move on to the head and face. What immediately stood out to me here was that I didn't include upper eyelid lines. The eyes are pretty far apart and the left eye is too small, it's also touching the edge of the face. Usually the eyes end before the face contour though. The overall face shape and jaw look like they are tilted to the left. The chin is too far to the left for example. Then the hairstyle could be in a more rounded shape so it looks more like it's following the head's perspective. Finally, here are some things I don't like stylistically. The neck turned out pretty long and the head looks too big compared to the body to me. I didn't draw in fingernails and overall used a lot less detail than what I would currently include. Then I didn't draw in our accessoires for the outfit, which was probably also because I was drawing with limited time. I would use two or one line to portray the nose right now and a different shadow on it. The brush I used is pretty thick and has almost no varying line thickness. The overall line work is very messy and could be a lot cleaner to me. This was of course also due to the shorter time frame I set for myself when drawing this illustration. Finally, the shadow shapes I used could be clearer and the illustration could have more contrast. It's good to also look at the positives in your old art. This helped me to give me a basis for things I would want to keep for my redraw illustrations. Here I like the pose as well as the lighting coming from the upper side. The colors also look good but I would change them up slightly for my redraws. Now let's talk about the redraw in two hours. I also did this first since that way it would be most like I was drawing the same way as in my initial art, not having drawn the pose and character before. 
After I had drawn in a rough thumbnail of the body and pose, I started with the sketch of the face. I always like to do this because the face is what draws in most attention in many illustrations and what the viewer will directly look at. After this I moved on to the body. Usually I would sketch in the whole body a second time to make sure the anatomy and proportions work, but here I decided to sketch in the clothes on top of my first proportion guide. I only used two sketch passes for the shoes and hands since these parts were more difficult to draw to me. Drawing in two hours meant I would have to simplify my steps a lot. It would also lead to me using a more painterly approach sometimes. I filled in the colors by lasso selecting areas and went with a more reddish and saturated palette for this than what I originally used. At this point I had around one hour left. Before I went onto the shading I noticed I didn't like how the legs looked in my illustration and drew in guides on top. I was aware that I should move on to shading as quickly as possible though so I didn't want to spend too much time on this. And now we're moving on to shading. I did this by either lasso selecting or just painting in areas with a slightly darker color shifting the hue a bit. Finally I added the pattern for the pants as well as laces using a layer with a border effect applied. Then I spent the last few minutes painting over parts and adding a orange light on a overlay layer. And this is how the two hour redraw turned out. The upper body looks a bit long to me, proportion wise it works, but making the text longer would look more visually appealing to me. The lines are pretty messy definitely, but I finished the overall piece. I made some adjustments to the art afterwards and transformed the eyes and legs a bit for this. I also noticed that I didn't draw in all accessoires on the jacket in my initial art piece, but here I added them. Still a lot of the outfit parts look pretty simplified in this two hour redraw. Now moving on to the longer redraw. For sketching I started with a rough thumbnail and drew in the full body with its anatomy afterwards. Since I had already done the two hour redraw but also had more time as I was drawing this, I got to draw in the outfit in a detailed way, also using what I had learned from my two hour redraw. For this I used my usual process and lately I've been doing the sketch on one day, the line out on the next and the shading on the third day. I adjust the sketch as well as the lines before moving on to the next stage and I get a bit of a new perspective by only spending a few hours each day on one illustration. I usually have one illustration in the sketch, one in the line art and one in the shading phase because of this, so I'm doing some sketching, line art and shading each day but for three different pieces. Because of this I worked on this piece over the course of three days. Here I went with clean line art, because of this you have to be a lot clearer and make sure that each line portrays the clothing pieces or that it's really matching the perspective the leg is in for example. Each line is drawn with much more intention. For filling in flat colors afterwards, I also was able to make clean selections with the line art. While coloring here, I noticed that in my two hour redraw, the colors especially for the pants turned out a bit too reddish to me, so I made it slightly different here. The pattern on the pants also has a lot more detail and getting it to match the perspective of the legs was challenging to me. For shading, I used a similar approach to the two hour redraw but was able to define folds more clearly and when I added in a lighting layer afterwards, I also checked the values by making my art black and white and it was fun to paint in the lighting to bring out the colors more. Still the face looked a bit off to me in the end and I adjusted this afterwards. When comparing this process to the two hour one, you can see it's a lot more broken down into clear steps. I also like how this one turned out more, especially the shading looks a lot nicer to me. I myself like the clean line art style more than the painterly one for my art, but I enjoy art from both artists that use clean line art but also a more painterly style. What kind of style do you prefer to draw in or see from other artists? A rather messy or clean one? Let me know in the comments. Finally, let's talk about fixing the art. Here I had first separated my illustration into layers. I had ones for the legs, for the upper body and for the head. This way I could adjust parts individually. I also wanted to fix the parts one by one. I like to just focus on one task at a time. I started with the legs. I drew in guides to see what proportions I would like to use and adjusted my art accordingly and making the legs wider mainly. I transformed the pattern and drew over parts. I also adjusted the shoes and defined their shape more here. For the upper body I made the tie be more in the middle of the outfit using liquify. This was pretty simple. Next were the hands. I drew in over them but used a older hand pose for one of them in the end. Then I moved on to the face. For this I at first drew a basic face guide on top. This makes it easy for me to see what exactly looks off and I can see at what place the eyes and other features would have to be. Then I moved the features around and I especially painted over the eyes to define their shape and lashes more clearly. In the end I also added some of the missing accessoires. Here are techniques I find most helpful and useful when it comes to fixing art. You can paint over guides to then align the art with these guides. Then you can use liquify or transform parts. And finally you can paint over parts, either reshaping things or even replacing parts. I would use the basic guide, especially in the beginning, to see how far off parts in the art are. And I would use liquify and transform when possible and for things that aren't that far off. When you are dealing with very messy parts or a very deformed hand, for example, it can be best to just paint over this. That's it for my process of fixing the art and techniques you can use to do this as well. 
Finally, here are the biggest differences between all four versions. In the old one, the colors are more orangey and the proportions for the body and face look very off to me. In the fixed version, the proportions look better, but a lot of the parts are still pretty rough and messy. This is similar for the newer 2 hour redraw, but here the proportions are a bit different and the colors are the most reddish. In the longer redraw, the colors turned out the nicest from all pieces to me. It makes sense that putting in more time and using my usual workflow would lead to this result. And with that, this video comes to an end. You can tell me in the comments which version you like the most and also what experiences you have made with fixing art or how you would critique your own art. And then I also want to mention that I've seen a lot of videos where YouTubers would redraw their viewers or sees and I've been thinking about doing something like this as well. I'm leaving a link with a document in the video description and if you want to submit your character, you can do that there. You can also just post your character and tag the art under this hashtag. And when I have some submissions, I might do a video where I redraw some of the OCs. I can't wait to see them and thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>